All right, Facebook Live, not done with you yet. So, uh, essentially, what I wanted to say before is that this is a particularly exciting day for Carlos Carlos. Um, every day is pretty much interesting and I've been having uh, lots of places that I wasn't expecting to go. So that ends up being interesting in and of itself. But uh, what makes today different is that I'm walking and I'm getting pretty close now because I think I've only got a little bit over an hour to get there. Um, I'm walking to the Buddhist Vihara uh, center, a temple, I'm not sure exactly what, it, what the full name is. Um, but right behind them, they are planning prospectively to build a gas compressor station and essentially as we know about natural gas and other fossil fuels, they burn and they're flammable, so, uh, which we use to our advantage. But anyways, when you compress it, it becomes more flammable, more dangerous, and that's to transport it. But essentially they're compressing it, which is a dangerous process right behind this temple and right by a bunch of residencies. So as I've said before, um, and a lot of people have said before, this is part of a bigger problem of fracking. So Carlos Carlos, as I was saying before, um, has been mostly going to farms, going to places that are running themselves sustainably, homesteading, things like that that deserve to be highlighted that are the real solutions to these problems of dependency. But also, there are a lot of battles we have to fight. We have to stop these things from even being built because what are we really handing our kids if we allow this intrinsically violent machine to exist right by where there are children, families, people living. Um, it's obvious that the profit motive has been chosen over the love motive in this case. So we have to make sure this isn't built because it's not built yet. There's plenty of already dangerous things existing, but this is a different battle. This is something that doesn't yet exist, but it is an existential threat. So anyways, I'm walking to it, trying to drum up interest as much as I can um, with this little portion of my walk. So, and it's just the beginning of me going to things related to pipelines and all these new pipelines that they're building that are coming through New Jersey due to fracking and the higher amount of natural gas that's coming into our state. Our state is on the coast. It's not necessary to benefit our state. That's some of the misinformation that's spread. Really, in my mind, it's, um, and I didn't come up with this myself, it's to export it ultimately overseas. And since we're right on the coastline, um, New Jersey's where the, the people who run these uh, gas companies and pipeline companies, they're basically, their mouths water when they see, ooh, all we have to do is jog across New Jersey with this gas and we can get it across and we can make our quick return. Um, they don't care about long-term anything, uh, which is obvious that they're even building this stuff. So anyways, I don't want to ramble too much, but I'm excited um, to be a part of this and be able to walk there and hopefully that uh, raises a little more consciousness. I don't even know how many neighbors in the area know that this compressor station is being built. I didn't even know what a compressor station was until a couple months ago, um, but it's, uh, it's obviously uh, quite a violent process that's been normalized by industrial uh, civilization but it shouldn't exist we we have to uh, leave the world better than we found it and by allowing this stuff to be built we're leaving uh, it more dangerous not as good not uh, just say not better um, all right so I'm winded I've walked 14 miles today it wasn't as long as I thought but uh, getting old here so all right I uh, and the Sun is hot the Sun is back out all right, so I'm going to end this. Thank you for watching. Hi, Joe. Hi, Kyra. You're the two most recent. Hi, Eric. Yeah, this is fun. All right. Uh, Danny Nealon, shout out to you too. Free hold. All right. Let me find this stock.